Hey guys, Johnny Corthius here. I'm an ISA certified arborist and industry instructor, and today I'm here to talk to you about some Aylrid stuff. So now, moving away from the adjustable on-the-fly Prusik, because we have heard that some people wouldn't like that, that's also totally fine. Personally, if I'm gonna run a bridge that isn't adjustable, I don't want my bridge migrating. I don't want it to be not under tension and then shortening up. I kinda like it always staying in the same spot, which is actually why this pass-through system really shines. If I wanted to have a nice short bridge and I didn't wanna have the six mil cord in play, I would simply remove this just like this, untying my Prusik, and then I would do the same pass through on this side. So essentially if I wanted to run a 12 or a 16 or an 18 uh, inch bridge, it's never going to be doing this while I'm moving around in the tree. Now, if you don't mind that, like some of the other offerings on the market, by all means, run your double fishermen's and climb away. We wanna have a conversation quickly about the difference between a backup and redundancy. The idea of redundancy essentially means that if you were to have a part of your system fail, the other part of the system that would then back it up would be at full rating, totally fine for life support. Now, the idea of a backup would be if you had a component of a system fail, you wouldn't actually fall completely out of the tree, but you wouldn't necessarily want to continue working in that, in that system. The aramid cord can be used for this. As I stated before, the aramid cord tests at 20 kilonewtons in a straight pull, so obviously it doesn't meet the ANSI standard for life support. But if you did want to run a lightweight backup on your single bridge, you could actually run the aramid cord in tandem with your normal single bridge. Dedicated six mil holes, you would choose which one of those is more appropriate to the system that you're going to use. Obviously, always a double fisherman here as a stopper knot. And then you could run this through your chosen hardware and run it through this side. Obviously, with this configuration and a stopper knot on this side, running this harness with a single bridge, everything's going to feel the same. But in the event that your chainsaw did go the wrong way and did hit your bridge, at least you know that you have a high heat resistant, high cut resistant cord in backup. Now, if you did cut through this bridge entirely, obviously you have a problem and you need to get to the ground, but at least you're not hitting the ground at 9.81 meters per second squared. What is sort of important to note is that you do wanna have your main bridge or the thicker rope here, the static line in this case, you actually wanna have that slightly shorter than the aramid so that your load is primarily being distributed to your main bridge. If this is just a backup, it doesn't need to be under constant tension. So as you can see here, my main bridge is under tension and my aramid has just a little bit of slack in it, basically cutting down wear on the rope that tests out at a lower breaking strength. 